Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to find the acute angle between two intersecting lines. We are given that 2x plus 5y is equal to 19 and x minus 2y is equal to negative 4. We want to find that acute angle in between these two lines. What does that mean? Suppose we have a graph like this. For the first function we have something like this and for the second function we have a line like this you know they are all linear equations so this acute angle is what we are looking for angle theta but we are not going to construct any graph rather use a particular formula but before applying the formula let us drive two things we want to find the gradient of the first and the second equations let me start from the first one the first one is 2x plus 5y equal to 19 to find the gradient, we can make y the subject. So by taking 2x to the right hand side, we have 5y equal to negative 2x plus 19. We divide both sides by 5, which is the coefficient of y. Therefore, y is equal to negative 2 divided by 5x, then plus 19 divided by 5. You can see the coefficient of x is the slope. So let me call this m1 negative 2 divided by 5. Let us move on to the second equation which is x minus 2y equal to negative 4. x minus 2y equal to negative 4. Take x to the right hand side we have negative 2y equal to negative x then minus 4. If we divide both sides by the coefficient of y which is negative 2 all these negative signs will turn to positive. The first one, we have y equal to 1 divided by 2x, then plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. You can see the slope here, m2, is equal to 1 divided by 2, which is the coefficient of x. So what is our formula? Our formula is tangent of that angle we are looking for is equal to the absolute value of m1 minus m2 divide by 1 plus m1 times m2. All we have to do is to substitute and find our angle. m1 is negative 2 divided by 5, so let me write it. Negative 2 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 2 divided by 1 plus m1 is negative 2 divided by 5, then multiplied by 1 divided by 2. Don't forget the absolute value because we don't want negative result. This is tangent of the angle we are looking for. So let's simplify. Negative 2 divided by 5 minus 1 over 2 will give us negative 9 divided by 10. So this is negative 9 divided by 10. The whole of this divided by 1 plus. Negative 2 divided by 5 multiplied by 1 divided by 2 will give us negative 1 divided by 2. So we have negative 1 divided by 5. But we can write the whole of this as 1 minus 1 divided by 5 instead of plus and minus, right? So let me make it negative from here. Our absolute value. This is equal to negative 9 divided by 10. Divide by, if you simplify this, you're going to obtain 4 divided by 5, right, in an absolute value. You can change it to multiplication by taking the reciprocal of this. We have negative 9 divided by 10 times 5 divided by 4 in an absolute value. You know 5 can go into 5 one time and it can go into 10 two times we have. So this is equal to negative 9 divided by 2 times 4 is 8. So we have 8 here. Don't forget the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 9 by 8 will give us positive 9 by 8. Don't forget this is tangent of the angle we are looking for. To find the angle, we are going to take tan inverse of both sides. Therefore, angle theta is equal to tan inverse of 9 by 8. 
So let me use my calculator to find tan inverse of 9 by 8. And so our angle theta is approximately equal to 48.37 degrees. So this is the acute angle between these two lines after intersection. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.